the least shocking what would you who would be the least shocking to come out as gay out of one of your friends um that's actually kind of a fun question let me think about this for a second because this is actually kind of a fun theoretical to think about so if anybody in real life i i, I none of my friends that i talk to in real life i don't think uh would come out as gay I'm not leaving it out of the possibility, right? But, like, just knowing my friends, they don't really strike me as, like, the type of people to just come out as gay. Um, so that leaves my internet friends, right? I'm thinking... People are saying t Turkey Tom? Nah, I don't think so. Bo Blacks is instantly would jump to my head. And I'm thinking about that now. Like, I'm thinking about... Hmm... I could actually see, because, like, I'm thinking about this right now. I don't think I've heard Bo Blacks really, like, talk about, like, okay, this is going to sound really fucking AIDS, but, like, I can't think of, like, a extensive... No, that's not true. Okay, I've, I've talked about, like, f like girls and, like, what preferences we like. You know, like, guys will get into, like, calls with Tyler. What do you like? I've talked about that with Bo Blacks before, so... I don't know. But, I mean, that's what jumps into my head. I'm trying to think... I could honestly see Bo Blacks coming out as gay. Nick, here's my thing about Nick. I couldn't see Nick coming out as gay, but I could see Nick sort of saying like, oh, I'm bisexual because he's a Destiny fan and he wants to be just like Destiny. You know what I mean? Like, he, I could see Nick going like, look, I've never been attracted to a dude. However, I could never leave that possibility out. So therefore, I am bisexual. Like, I could see Nick saying something like that. Like, Nick would try to, Nick would argue that he's bisexual based off of something that could happen. Um, but realistically, I don't see Nick being attracted to guys, but I don't really know Nick that well, so maybe he is. I don't really know. Who else? The only other people that I talk to are, like, old. Like, Tipster and Tommy C. And old people, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really see Tipster. They're fucking boomers. Yeah. John Swan. Okay, John Swan is a is a pretty good candidate for somebody that I could see coming out as gay, specifically because I've like never heard John Swan talk about girls before. So I I like literally, and trust me, I've tried, or at the very least, I feel like I've tried to like have this conversation with John a long time ago, and been like you know just like talking to him about it, right? And I just like I don't think he ever like reciprocated that conversation. So I don't know. I could see John. Chad is saying Connor. Um. Hmm. Let me think about that one for a second. John is definitely a candidate. Yeah, Chad kind of agrees with me on that one. I've like never heard John Spawn talk about girls before. So, I mean, it could theoretically be a situation, right? With Connor, I'm trying to think. Um, eh, I don't really... I don't know. I don't know. I don't really see it. Ben, there's like no possibility. There's, there's a stronger possibility that Ben is attracted to nobody than Ben is attracted to, uh, t to men by far. John has a feminine way of speaking. What do you mean? Like his voice is like high or something? I don't know. Ben needs no one. True. Ben is the base nomad. John does sound kind of gay. I think I've convinced chat that John Swan is the most likely of, uh, I guess, YouTubers to be gay or to come out. Like, I'm pretty convinced John would be the guy. Maybe Bo Blacks. And I'm almost deadly convinced that Nick will at some point uh, declare himself bisexual. Just based purely on, you know, wanting to be... Uh, uh, but buddies of destiny. <laughs> Edwin is bi? I actually don't know. Lieutenant Cobra's is BFF somewhat, definitely somewhat gay. True.
Boblax and Nick are porn addicts, so they got to be bi at least. Is Boblax and Nick a are they porn addicts? I don't I didn't know that. I wasn't aware of that. I'll factor that into information that I will not think about ever again. Edwin gives me bi vibes. He's literally talked about other men. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. What about flamenco? Uh. Well, flamenco would be the most ironic person to come out as gay, right? Because he's literally like a fucking Nazi. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, joking, joking. But that would be funny, right? Flamenco of all people. Saying that while the man is on vacation? Is Flamenco on vacation right now? Where's he going? Scrubby? Nah. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the reason why you aren't verified on Twitch. What do you mean? We're having a conversation. At no point in this conversation have I said that this is a bad thing. Smaggle daggle. Trying to fuck me over. Oh, calling somebody a Nazi? What do you mean? Twitch loves that. In fact, if I called more people Nazis, they would instantly verify me. In fact, the, I'm pretty sure the top streamers on Twitch do call people Nazis. How do you think Hassan's got so many followers? What about Keemstar? You know what I was thinking about? We've never heard Keemstar, like, talk about his girlfriend or, like, is it his girlfriend or his wife? I don't know. And to be honest, like, I'm not saying he should, by the way. I think that's very based. Like, leaving all that shit in your private life, I think that's incredibly based. However, it does leave a thousand different questions, right? Like, who is she? Who is this woman? How the fuck is she dating Keemstar, and how have they been dating for so long? Like, how does that even work? I mean, these are questions. Like, I'm not saying these are questions I would- I care to know the answers to. But, you know, it does bring certain questions out, right? Keemstar keeps his life private, I think- it seems. Yeah, and that's really- that's- that's a good thing. He should- he should stick to that. Keem doesn't believe in marriage? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Keemstar is, like, literally, like, there's, like, clips of him talk about why marriage is a scam. Oh, I guess they got deleted from YouTube. 